kind of doing some stuff this morning. I'm gonna go back home for a little bit. Um, get the kids going for school. Uh, I <laughs> drove the lawnmower back down so I could finish up the mowing in front because Keaton's in school now, so I can't have him do all my work. And uh, we got horses to feed and turn out. They're, they're, uh, I have to do that too because Mo's in school. So everything, you know, I thought all this was exciting stuff when the kids went back to school until I realized I have to pick up my own slack again, like doing all my own chores, like feeding and putting my feet away and turning out the horses because all my help is gone. But that's okay. We are thankful and blessed that our kids get to go back to school and they're all together. So all three of them, so Mo, Keaton and Jalen, they're all five years apart, which is funny, and uh, treat them like my kids. Well, treat them like my kids. And uh, we're gonna do chores. I still need to get that impact put away because I just haven't had time. And Mo hasn't been out the last few days because she was back in school. And she's been kind of my lifesaver and doing the chores. So that's why you guys haven't been seeing a whole lot of the horse stuff. She's been picking up my slack, so. We're gonna feed real quick. You guys saw Jenny, our local Karina dealer, come out from Feeder Skinning the other day and talk to us about changing up scooters, um, feed rations, especially as we go into the fall and the cooler months. And uh, Jason starts riding him a little bit more along with both the kids riding. So uh, we are um, swapping him around. He's no longer gonna get the equine senior because of the way he needs more calories, more or less. So he's gonna go back onto the impact like Shiloh and Leo are. Le Shiloh is bred, so she will fall later this year, uh, November, December timeframe. I'm gonna get her ultrasound probably in October again, just so we can kind of make sure I'm on the right page. Let me just sit you down. Maybe sit you down. I can talk to you guys while I'm getting my stuff organized here. Um, she is bred, and uh, she's kind of getting rather large. She's my running mare. I will uh, see if I can't find a video, an old video, because I haven't been to a barrel race because of COVID in 2020, and then we haven't ran anywhere this year, just because, well, I don't have time. So that's why she's bred. We uh, bred her to a blue valentine stud, which is like what um, Queen, our gray mare is, and what Scooter is, and that's what Jason wanted, was a blue valentine. And I think it'll break his heart if he doesn't get a stallion to gild, but it is what it is. So I am uh, doctoring up Leo's feed. He is a five-year-old gilding. You guys are gonna see a ton more as soon as hay gets over. Like, I could live in the barn, and eventually our tack room will be done. Will be done, it's a project on the list. But right now I am just um, doctoring Leo's feet up. He is so big and he uses so much muscle or it, he uses so much energy to keep growing his muscles because he is only five. So we use the oxygen uh, line. I'm a dealer for it. For anybody that's local, um, let me know. I can hook you up with it. But I'm using the Jailbreak GI. This is a magnesium paste to help maintain um, one proper gut pH, which is ideal for horses because they can easily get ulcers. If they are stalled, if they don't have enough hay excess, um, horses are a lot different than cattle because horses don't have four stomachs. So they don't, um, horses don't have the stomachs like cattle do. So cattle are ruminants. So they can graze for a little bit and then go rest for a couple hours and not eat anything. Horses are ones that constantly are eating. So that's why we swap to the hay chicks nets for the stalls overnight. The horses do go out each morning. Um, they go out to the arena or the round pen. I have two horses, my old gray mare and Carol's horse back in the lot. Um, my horses are notorious for getting out of fences. So I have to have them in something that's really contained. The mares, they are easy going, laid back. They don't get out of a fence unless the gate is open or there's a wide open hole. So I gotta put out hay for them after a while. And Jason and I are actually going to move one of the Go Bob um, feeders out of the arena because I only have Hank out there who we're going to butcher. So 
We're gonna move that out to the pasture back there and I'll show you how we uh, put out big squares for our horses. At some point, it may not be today, it may be tomorrow. So anyway, this is for Leo and I'm also using um, the mag oil, the mega oil to kind of help keep his shape up. So we start to ride more, he'll be gaining more muscle mass and he's yelling at me. So I'm gonna set you guys down and you guys can see me tour and then I'm gonna turn out horses as soon as they're done eating. And Hank is done eating because he has his own feed. So about an hour we'll go turn out the horses because they can't eat what Hank eats. bit of a combined business. He gets seven pounds a day. Okay, this is Jason's rope horse. He is older. He's 20. He burns a lot of calories because he has an asthma issue. So he's, he doesn't uh, get to have a whole lot of turnout time because of the pollen in the air right now. But we are feeding an extra um, high fat supplement called Amplify by Purina. I, it makes this real easy. He needs a pound of it. These cups are super, super nice for this. It's a high fat supplement for maintenance more or less. Um, I'm not sure how long he'll be on this. Um, he usually gains weight and is real fat and sassy all winter because, well, there's no pollen in the air, generally. but he gets fed three times a day. And he actually goes out at night when it's cooler and it's a little bit not as hot. <sighs> we have a lot of fall projects. Like I need to get that gravity flow out. And as soon as the shop gets rebuilt, rebuilt, as soon as the shop gets done, as soon as the shop gets done, like we'll be able to clear out a lot of this stuff. The loft up here needs to be rebuilt. It actually fell, um, I think it fell before I came along with Jason. So nine, 10 years ago it fell. So we wanna redo the loft. So like my big square, you guys can't see that. Uh, my big square there that I feed the horses with in their nets, um, the, Jason's got it figured out how many we can stack up here so that I can keep the whole barn floor clean. Like we have a lot of things I want to get done. Like we have to, have to, once this shop is done, we have to build fence. We have to get cows kind of lined out on grass and fence, but then I need to get the gravity flow out of here. I need to build a mare, uh, it's technically called a stud stall, but we are going to use it for a foaling stall. I need to get it done. I need to get the dry lot done. I need to, get some more fence back up so we can utilize um, some of the back pasture that we haven't been able to utilize for a while because the fence is just not not as good and I don't want to be hunting horses down all over. So, so many of you guys have asked about the horses. Um, if I had my way, I would spend all day down here. And so would the kids, like Jalen and Keaton ride more than I have rode. And uh, Carol rides and Jason rides and John has a little pony cart that he likes to take around. Um, we just don't always have time and it stinks. Like priorities during the summer is hay. That is our income. So we run really, really hard um, from like April till mid-October or whenever it gets done. And then we have the whole t that whole break. Like that's when we get to do our fun stuff. And uh, so I'll be able to do more horse stuff and show you a little bit more about that. Um, I love to train, I love the groundwork. So just give me a few more weeks of hay season and we'll get back to the pony life. But I'm gonna feed Scooter here and then I need to do a few things and get back home. I haven't even gotten dressed dressed yet. Like I run around in my life. Just fun stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna feed Scooter now. Oh, 
这儿讲。I also, now that Mo's not here, have to do my own stall cleaning again. So, pull them out when they get back. Yeah. What do you think, Scoot? You're a bit spoiled, aren't you? Yeah. Eat your breakfast. I'll be back. So now that I got all my morning chores done, I'm going to walk back up to the house and get the kids going for school and just kind of start, get our day going. I mean, more going than what I've already been doing today. We had a nice little shower at the cattle farm yesterday. I don't know if it rained over on that hay. Jason will have to go look at it. We also need to go and check cows this morning to see if we had any new calves. Because it is full on calving season for us. This is our last fall calving, actually. Um, we're going to an all quote unquote winter spring calving. We'll start the first part of February. And I I personally like calving better then than I do right now. It's hot, the flies. Um, my day is very much on time schedule, as if you haven't noticed. But we'll talk about that more later on. Are you coming home with me, Valley? Dad, are you coming home too? Okay. <sighs> And I, yes, I'm walking. I enjoy walking. Um, it's just, I don't know. I do miss going to the gym. I did go to the gym quite a bit when I worked full time and there was one right down the from the office. So I would walk on my lunch hour down there and it's kind of my de-stressor. So now I just walk around and uh, get my exercise in other ways and try to be healthy as you can be as a farmer. Farmers tend to get bad reps because they're always eating in tractors and on the go and not always the healthiest. But since Jason's a little scare, we are trying to do a little bit better with that. <sighs> they're worse than children. Alright, you want me to go get something? Alright, I'll just go now and get it then. We'll make sure you see how much you've done. Alright, he's gonna go mohay. Um, having to play catch up by myself. So anywho, we're gonna go turn out horses, hopefully. And then uh, find the lawnmower. I think Carol's using it at the moment. We need to move chickens around. And it's always something. Like the farm life never slows down, even when there's like a foot of snow on. You know, there's always, always something to be done. Playing catch up, barn work, shop work, equipment maintenance, horses. You know, it's always, it's always something. But I'm gonna turn these guys out. We're gonna work in the stalls. I need to put this feed away. Um, I gotta get the barn cleaned out. So, just doing a lot of that kind of stuff today. Or as much as I can before it gets extremely hot this afternoon. Switch out my uh, fun shoes, my house shoes that I don't normally wear anywhere besides the house. But I had forgotten my tennis shoes down at the shop, of course, Barn. Need you right, Dale. You giving them kisses this morning? Give the people kisses. You giving them kisses?
own stalls and pick my own poop during the day. So uh, I usually, what I do is I throw out the poop at night and then she'll come in each morning and pick it out. But since she's not been here the last few days, I, I'm on my own. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of do some maintenance and stuff that I need to get done this morning before it gets even hotter out. So that's what we're doing. This is where we're at guys, working stalls. What do you think? It's kind of up the air just a little bit, but it's, it'll go. I mean, it's big squares. Yeah. We'll just rake it and let it sit. Okay, it's hot as it is. the first time heifers. Our pastors are starting to take a little bit of a beating with the high heat. We moved them and now we have to find a baby. But isn't that sunset absolutely gorgeous? Just beautiful. Even if it is hotter than heck. This is how you know when you hit max capacity your watch is on power reserve mode because it only has 10% battery left. <sighs> so I guess I'll keep hunting for this baby and uh, go home and chore and uh, call it a night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of our story. Thanks for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all of it. Thank you. You guys are awesome. And until next time, God bless. Eat some beef or pork or chicken or really anything. Eat local. And uh, stay healthy.